And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the third part of the show, we are going to talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and whether I think they are legit or not. Um, They've gotten off to a good start. I think they have definitely uh, surprised a lot of people. Um, You know, I I think many people thought they were going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. Um, Obviously, you know, the offseason... Tom Brady retired, so he's no longer there. So they went in and, uh, you know, they brought in Baker Mayfield, who bounced around a little bit. Well, has bounced around the last couple of years. I mean, he was on the Browns and went to the Panthers, and then they got rid of him, and then the Rams signed him because of all their injuries with Stafford getting hurt. And now he's on the Bucks. And, um, you know, again, people just didn't think the Bucks were going to be that good. And listen, I mean, they're 3-1 and one right now, and anything can happen. Um, but right now, I mean, I think the Bucks are legit. Now, that doesn't mean, excuse me, that doesn't mean that I think they're like a Super Bowl contender or anything like that. But I definitely think they could be a team that makes the playoffs, maybe win a playoff game at home, depending on who they play. I mean, you know, the wins, I think their most impressive win was against the Saints in New Orleans. Um, Because I really, I I had the Saints winning that game. I really thought that, I mean, I thought it was going to be low scoring. And I thought the Saints would take that. But, I mean, Baker Mayfield threw three touchdowns in that game. I mean, the the first week of the year in Minnesota, I mean, you would think the Vikings were going to win that. But, um, you know, Baker played okay in that game. Uh, He threw, uh, only threw for 173 and two touchdowns. Um, one of them was to Mike Evans, the other was to, uh, Trey Palmer. Um, you know, then they won 27 to 17 over the Bears, but, you know, the way the Bears have been, other than last week, you know, um, you know, it wasn't, uh, I, I think, like I said, the most impressive win for me was against the Saints. 26 to 9, Baker threw for 246, three touchdowns and a pick. And, you know, they got a lot of those guys. They still got some guys from their, their Super Bowl, um, you know, their Super Bowl run. Uh, Shaq Barrett's back, um, so that's big for them. Um, you know, Levante David is still there. So, you know, I mean, you know, the team is still uh, – and you still got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin on offense. So, um, but I just wanted to pull up a uh, the uh, the graphic that I have for today. And, unfortunately, I, I, I cut off Baker's uh, – Baker's face, because I'm using StatMuse again. StatMuse has become my best friend now. Um, so this is Baker through the first four games of the season. Uh, he's got a 101.5 passer rating, um, 882 yards, passing seven touchdowns to two interceptions, which is which is really good. Touchdown interception ratio is great. Now again, it's a small sample size, and you know obviously this is it could be. Completely different by the end of the year. Well, it's going to be completely different by the end of the year. Um, but, I mean, listen, for Baker, I mean, I hope he does well. I'm a I'm a Baker Mayfield uh, fan. I would say I am. I would say he's one of my uh, one of my favorite players in the league, I would say. And you're probably asking why. I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like for some players, for me, it's just kind of like, yeah, I, I like this guy. Let's see what he can do. Um, but, yeah, I... Uh, I've been a, I've been a fan of his, and I, I've kind of uh, you know. And listen, I'm not like a, a Baker Mayfield apologist. Like I'm not going to sit here and say he's the greatest thing ever, and you know. But I just feel like you know he dealt with some uh, some adversity. Um, you know the situation in Cleveland. I mean, he hurt his shoulder, and in 2021, and this is after they made the playoffs in 2020 when the Browns were a playoff team and they won a playoff game in Pittsburgh. I know it was in front of no fans, but hey, it's still happened and they almost beat the Chiefs but you know he gets hurt Browns don't make the playoffs and then they go out and they trade for Deshaun Watson they toss Baker aside and honestly Deshaun Watson looks doesn't look that good you know so you know and then Baker goes to the Panthers and really doesn't play that well goes to the Rams and he wins that game you know where he had to learn the playbook in like two days and they beat the Raiders and then the Bucks sign him, and you know what? He looks good. He looks good. Um, you know, again, they lost to the Eagles, but you know what? I, I think he's looked. Uh, he's definitely looked good. 
And when you got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin now to throw the ball to, I mean, last year he wasn't throwing to Cooper Cup on the Rams. I mean, he was throwing to Ben Skoranek and Van Jefferson. Now he's throwing to Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. So, um, and you know, the Bucks they got a tough game against the Lions this weekend at home. I, You know what? I think they can win that game. I don't know if they will. But, you know, I, I think that's a winnable game. Then they play the Falcons at home in Week 7. I think that's a winnable game. The Falcons are not a good road team. Um, then at Buffalo, Week 8, that's going to be tough. So I don't know if they're going to win that. But then you got the Texans and the Titans. Those are both winnable games. Uh, the, at 49ers, that's going to be tough. Um, you know, we saw what they did to Brady last year, 35-7. to might, might see something similar to that. But then you got the Colts, the Panthers, the Falcons, the Packers, the Jags, the Saints at home, and then at Panthers. I mean, they gotta, their schedule is favorable. Their schedule is definitely favorable. I, I really think that they, it's going to be between them and the Saints for the, uh, for the division. Um, but you got to like that schedule. And I, listen, I think they could maybe win 9, 10 games get into the playoffs, because that might be what t it takes to win this division. And and you know what? Maybe they win a playoff game. Now, again, I'm not saying that, you know, they're going to go on the Super Bowl run. I don't, I, no, I don't see that. But I think the Bucks are legit, because if their defense is playing well and Baker, you know, limits the turnovers, which, I mean, two two interceptions in four games, I mean, for him, it's, you know, that's good. You know, like I said before, the touchdown to interception ratio has been good. You know, I, I think this Bucks team can, um, you know, be a playoff contender. Not a Super Bowl contender, but a playoff contender. I, I don't think this is a a uh, a phony uh, a phony team. I mean, I don't I don't think they stack up well against the 49ers. We saw how they played against the Eagles, and the Lions are better. But you know what? I think they can beat the Lions, and it's at home. So. Um, you know, there, and again, it's all also the other thing too, is the status of Mike Evans. I mean, you know, he didn't practice again, like I talked about in the last segment, but I don't know. I, I, I think to me, I think that's a, uh, to me, I think that's a winnable game. So, um, and you know, listen, they, they already beat the saints. So, uh, you know, that's good getting that divisional win. You know, they haven't played the uh, the Falcons yet, but I think they're better than the Falcons. I like Baker over Desmond Ritter. Um, you know, I, the Falcons, I mean, I, I just... The, right now they're, you know, 3-0 and at home, but not a good road team so far. 3-0 and at home and 0-2 uh, on the road. But, I, I mean, I, I think the Bucks are better than them. I do. And, they're, and the Bucks are better than the Panthers, too. I mean, the Panthers right now, they're one of the worst teams in football. So, you know, and it, it's a weak division. It's a weak division. I mean, the Saints offensively, they're still trying to work through some things. I mean, the, the offense still isn't great. Um, you know, I mean, they won 34 to nothing against the Patriots, but look at how the Patriots are. So, right now, I like the Bucks to win the division, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean, Baker's playing really well. I mean, listen, if he's got protection, he's got the weapons, I mean, he could do well. I mean, he did well with the Browns when, you know, they had their good offensive line and the good running game with Chubb and, and Kareem Hunt, you know, and weapons to throw to. So, you know, and listen, I don't know if Baker's going to, you know, I don't think Baker's the elite of the elite. He's not. But you know what? I, I think if you give him the right supporting cast around him, he could take you to the playoffs. And he won a playoff game. And I think many people forget about that, you know. Um, then he goes to the Panthers. I mean, you got Christian McCaffrey and DJ Moore. But, you know, I mean, still, you're not. Matt Rule was the head coach. Um, you know, and then they got rid of him. He goes to the Rams with McVay. But, you know, the Rams were dealing with a ton of injuries themselves. Um, he did play well. Now we got another shot with the Bucks, and they're in first place. So, but again, I, I don't think Baker is like one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. But you know what? I, I think there needs to be more respect to his name and how he's been playing this year. Um, you know, and he could be leading a team like the Bucks to, you know, right now they're in first place, and he could maybe get them to the playoffs, and we'll see what happens. Now, 
I don't really expect them to do much again because, I mean, the 49ers are just are the class of the NFC right now. They're the best team. And the Eagles beat the Bucs. Um, you know, Baker had his worst game of the season. But, again, it's expected. The Eagles are one of the best teams as well. But let's see how they stack up against the Lions because I, I view the Lions right now as the third best team in the NFC. So maybe see how you do against them. You know, I mean, the, the Bucks already beat the Saints, so right now I put them ahead of the Saints. Um, but yeah, let's see how uh, let's see how this game goes on Sunday. I, I think it should be a very exciting game. I hope Mike Evans plays, so they got their full uh, supporting cast. I mean, they got some young receivers that Baker's building a rapport with. You got Rashad White, who's a good running back. Um, you know, home game. I mean, we'll see. I, I think the Bucks could definitely win. And if not, I think they could keep it close. But, um, you know, we'll see. But I think, um, you know, for now, let's give Baker Mayfield some respect. Now, things can change, of course. You know, we get to the end of the year and the Bucks just, like, collapse and, you know, end up having one of the worst records in football. Then we then we come back and we have a different conversation. But I think for right now, 3-1, and one, they got a favorable schedule. I think this team can be a playoff team. I think it definitely can. Um, you know, and, and again, I'm rooting for Baker. I want him to do well because, I mean, what happened over in Cleveland was unfortunate. And you know what? I, I think he got humbled from this whole situation because um, I know a lot of people questioned his, uh, you know, his attitude and, and things like that. And, you know, obviously he got made fun of for being in all those commercials. Um but, you know, what? I think all of this kind of changed him as a person, I mean, you could kind of see it, you know, in some of his interviews. And, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But, um, you know, I'm rooting for him, and I hope he uh, I hope he does well, and I hope he leads the Bucks to the playoffs. I really do. So, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's basically it when we're talking about the uh, the Buccaneers. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think the Buccaneers have a chance, are a playoff team? Do you think that they're a phony and that they're going to end up flaming out and missing the playoffs? But I went through their schedule, and listen, there is a lot of winnable games on their schedule, which I, I think they could definitely get to 9 to 10 wins if they keep playing the way they are. I mean, and, and look at what Mike Evans is doing with Baker. I mean, last year, obviously, you know, there was a lot of stuff going on in Tampa. You know, the offensive line wasn't very good last year, so Brady, like, was checking it down a, a gazillion times. Um... But, you know, Mike Evans is looking like he's going to have a uh, bounce-back season. Um, you know, he didn't have a ton of touchdowns last year. Um, you know, so, I, I, I listen, I, I think the I think the Bucks could be a playoff team this year with a better record than they did finish with last year. Because last year they finished 8-9 and, and won the division. More impor most, The most important thing is right now it's a weak division. It, it still is a weak division. I don't trust the Saints. Falcons I don't really trust either. And the Panthers obviously are 0-5. So, but again, that remains to be seen. But uh, yeah, so that's it when it comes to talking about the Buccaneers. So in the next part of the show, the final part of the show, we'll get into the Broncos and the Chiefs game for tonight. Um, but again, I just want to remind you guys um, to donate or tip and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork dot slash tip. Again, that really helps the show, and for bonus coverage materials that are not covered by this broadcast, make sure to go to patreon.com and search up GSMC Sports Network. So we're going to take our final break of the show, and then when we come back, we will preview the game for tonight, and then that will basically be it for today's show. So stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. 